Sarah here with the UK Scrap Addicts process video for you today. We are focusing on um, not using cardstock as backgrounds or at all. So that's the challenge for this month. So um, it's all about using patterned papers as a background and embracing using that rather than the white cardstock with layers of patterned paper on top. So because I do love my mixed media and I do like to use my um, watercolour 12 by 12 as my background and then add layers of paper I wanted to make sure that I could still use my mixed media so first off here I am just adding some clear gesso and very gently spreading it across the page so it doesn't pull on the paper and warp it too much it doesn't stretch the fibres within the um, paper there I apologise for the state of my hands it is because I now have a part cat part cactus as you can oh and there goes my phone as you can see here um and he does like to attack my hands a lot so i have got lots of teeny tiny scratches so sorry about that <laughs> so i've now got my nice dry background it has curled ever so slightly but nothing major um and as you can see it's clear gesso so you can see completely the pattern paper in the background which I'm about to cover anyway. <laughs> so first off, I'm using this stamp here. Um, I'm All the products I'm using are from Thompson's Craft Supplies, at least most of them. And for the main part, this is the kit called Nautical Adventures. Um, it's a mixed media kit that's got papers as well as mixed media products to use. So I will link it below. I think she still has two left as far as I know so this is still available but obviously very limited if you wanted to get that I will link her shop below and I'm also using a few stamps from her shop as well I'm just creating um, a bit of interest in the background here and I have just marked out where my photo is going to be so I'm just sort of surrounding it with um, these stamps I think I use a third one as well I do actually notice that my photo which has got the horizon in the background is actually wonky so I'm just going to trim it in line with the C and make sure that it's straight because obviously on my background there is the C as well so I wanted that to line up at this stage even though it all gets covered up later <laughs> And here I'm just adding a further bit of stamping, just this nice scripty stamp, just to add a little bit more here and there. And then, oh, and the ink I'm using is um, archival, so I can go over it with watercolour based, water based products and it won't smudge. I use the stencil from the kit next and I just add some distress ink through it just to do that sort of net effect it doesn't show up very well but I did leave it in the video anyway because it does get completely covered up but I thought I'd just show that anyway rather than just cut it out it was far too faint though so um, I decided to add something a little a little bit bolder so I've taken another stencil here I'm going to add some texture paste I really have to get new texture paste this stuff is like cement now so it does go on too thick so it's not as um, precise as I would have liked the image to come through it's a bit blurred but it does the trick I it brings up a bit of nice white through so that it gives it a bit of a cleaner look to the page so I'm just adding it here and there just adding lots of different layers of stamping and texture as I go along and I think that's about all I do for texture paste. As you can see, I've not bothered with that centre bit because I know that's where my photo is going to be. I also want to leave the space where a lot of the sky is because I want to cluster my page up on an angle going up the side of the page there. So next up, I'm taking my mermaid markers. As you can see, I did do a tester patch in the middle so I knew how it would turn out because I know that bit's going to be covered anyway and this is why it's good that I put some clear gesso it means I can add lots of these colours 
and then I go in with water and a brush and just blend them together a little bit keeping the colours so that they still um, have separate bits so you still see all three colours but making sure that as well as that it does blend nicely and then I just let that dry and the colours will blend a little bit more as it does dry and then I'll see how it looks when it's done so I'm now adding some gel medium and adding some gauze or cheesecloth depending on what you call it and just adding a few layers on top of each other here and smushing it into the gel which will make sure it all sticks down nicely and then dry um, this works well because with tape gauze tends to get stuck to it or the, it pulls away because the fabric doesn't bond well next I'm smushing that down onto this hessian also from the kit and just trimming it down so that it's instead of my cardstock paper layer that I probably usually frame my photo with to help it stand out against the page instead I'm using um, lots of textures lots of fabrics and now I'm just adding more gel to the back of there so that I can add paper layers to the back of this and it will bond well and here are some of my papers I want to cut out a couple of these cut apart pieces here I do only use one in the end but I do cut out a couple and then I use the opposite side to create a paper layer for the back of my photo as well and then smush that down because there's loads of gel medium on the back of there so it sticks down nicely and I'm just going to place things down a bit of a dry run see how it looks and get a general idea of how I want things to look I decide that I want this piece here to be circular but then I felt like it needed a lot more texture to it so I do ruffle up the edges and I do ink the edges as well I think and again with my paper layer behind my photo I do the same I even it out and I also ruffle the edges there too so that it matches and now I'm using some ink distress ink just to age the edges make them blend in better with the background I do that to both of those next up I have some um, very fine decorative um, chipboard and a little tea leaf there stealing things off my desk I forgot about that bit <laughs> and as you can see they look kind of like seaweed I don't know if they are there might be reeds I'm not sure but I just decided to use some of them as well because I think they work well and this again is from the kit and I just use a staple to get the this put down in place because I know with the amount of embellishments I will if there are any staples still showing after I've laid things up I can just stick a gem on it or something like that and it'll disappear you won't know they're there and I just stick down the edges where I can reach with the staple and I'm not too worried about the center because that's going to be fixed in place with my photo anyway I'm now using some 3d gloss gel which is a really strong um, adhesive for sticking down the 3d elements and I use the scrap from my chipboard to pop my um, photo up there just adding in that journal card cut apart piece there and adding more gel medium to the back of my title which is was in the kit it's by Bramble Fox and it's got a beautiful pearlescent finish to it it looks like mother of pearl kind of thing so now I'm just going to carry on adding bits with my 3d gel medium here and there all the 3d uh, embellishments stick really well with this stuff and once I have those in place I could have done this beforehand it probably would have worked out easier but I'm now adding a sort of skin color tone a brown and green to each of the seaweed pieces I use the skin tone as well as the brown to create the background because the green would be very bright without a browny tone underneath but I wanted it to be two-toned green so hence I've added more of a beigey and more of a brownie colour so that there's a bit of a difference in the colour 
throughout those. And there's a bit of a close up of those two. And next up, I'm going to add some twine. I think this was an add on for the kit. I've got loads of it. I love it. It's brilliant. Um, just twirling it around, like fixing it together, adding some gel medium, and just smooshing it into place for a little bit more texture here and there. I add a bit across the bottom as well. And now I've got all my embellishments out and I'm again using my 3D gel medium to stick down lots of pretty flowers. There's Prima flowers, um, rainbow resin. A lot of these came in the kit. There's one or two bits that are from my stash. A little seahorse I think might have been from my stash. Um, some seashells which you can get from eBay anywhere really. They're quite easy to get a hold of if you can't get to a beach. And I just keep adding more and more until I'm happy with it. I think I had a couple of chipboard pieces here and there as well. And a cute little anchor there. I'm just building up the clusters in the corners and then up the side. I decided to move that sea breeze. I didn't want it up there. I felt like it was fighting for the title. <laughs> and so I pop it down there instead. Now I'm adding a few more flowers because I love flowers, paper flowers. I hoard them so much so I really wanted to get some new stuff. Still going with lots and lots of embellishments. I'd love to hear from you if you've got a kind of embellishment that you use a lot of or you hoard. Mine's definitely flowers of any kind. Resin flowers and sequins, which I'm putting down now. So do let me know what you like to hoard or what your favourite embellishment is. So to put these down, I am just adding more of that gel medium with a tiny paintbrush and then like a pickup tool that's got sort of like blue tacky type thing on it. And I don't make you watch me do every single one of them. That would have taken forever. It did take me a while to do that. So now there's sequins all over it as well. I'm now just going to add some white acrylic paint that's been watered down and this little fan brush and just go over the whole thing with some white splashes. I do off camera right at the end add some copper splashes and also some pearl um, um, nouveau drop type things. So you'll see them in the close ups pictures at the end and that is me done so thanks for joining me and um, if you haven't already do like and subscribe UK scrap addicts so you can see lots of videos from us and also in the links below you can find my personal channel if you would like to subscribe to that too and don't forget to check out the blog and the Facebook group all the links will be below have a great day everyone bye